joining us this morning for Pet Place is Mary Reamer from the Pocatello Animal Shelter, and she has brought with Jasmine. Jasmine's our latest four-legged pal who could use their forever home. Uh, they're here for Pet Place. Well, thank you very much for stopping by thank this morning. Uh, tell us a little bit about Jasmine here. Well, Jasmine was released to us about a week and a half ago with her. She did have four puppies with okay. her that weren't quite old enough, so we've kept her there for the sh at the shelter, and they're ready. Um, in fact, I think a couple of the puppies that look just like her, almost okay. twins, um, that are, have been adopted, and I think there might be two more left if okay. someone wants to do the puppiness, or maybe they want to not have to a go through as much A little more full-grown dog. Yes. She's a sweet, sweet little dog. She is um, a lab, probably pit bull, but um, she's this, this as big as she'll get. So okay. I think this is about the perfect size for a family dog. All right. And um, she gets along good with other dogs and cats, and she is... Supposedly, according to the owners, good with kids. Good with kids. Okay. Yes. So um, I think she'd be a really nice little match. All right. Well, ta uh, talking about you guys is your Phil Ford, uh, Tapa Toyota, Stuff a Suit, so something true. like yes, that. Those three. Forgive me, I'm wrong. Uh, your partnership with Phil Meter. Uh, you guys have been doing that. Uh, how's that been going? And you guys are actually continuing on uh, yeah, that, um, the fund fundraiser or food drive. It was going to go just to the end of January, and I checked in with them that last week and. They said it was going well and they would continue it on. So um, we're still accepting donations. This time of year, um, it's nice just to really stock up our shelves of the food that we're using, which is the Prina products. But then whatever you bring over that we can't use, we'll give to the food bank. And the Humane Society's been busy with that, um, people needing help with the food for their pets. And so it's a good cause, and we really appreciate the uh, meters for doing that kind of support for us. All right. So, with with something like that, I mean, how how important is it for for people to get involved on this drive? Uh, you know, like you said, it helps out so many different organizations. Well, like at the shelter, what we're going to see is um, it gives us to use our food money somewhere else. Okay. So, so frees up resources. That, yeah, a little frees bit. up the resources. So instead of buying food till the end of the year, we'll be able to you know use the money somewhere else and help an animal or something. Um, as far as the humane society goes. It's just a hard time for a lot of people, you know, with work situations and and they a lot of people just find themselves right now in a small bind because they just can't afford it right after Christmas, things like okay. that, to get the pet food. And so they just need the help right now. And having that resource um, available in the community is just invaluable. It's been really humane society gets a lot of people. We get a lot of phone calls every day of okay. people looking for help. All right, where can people go? There. Where can people go for more information on Jasmine or her puppies that are still up at the shelter? Well, of course, they can come see her and the puppies at the shelter. We're open today till 5, from 10 to 5, or they can go on PetFinder.com and see the pictures there or the city's website. All right. Well, thank you very much for stopping by this morning.